Well, hi there. This is Dan again with Clean Guru. And today I wanted to start the message by telling you a story. A story about a study. I remember reading this study or survey or study years ago. It was about, I think they surveyed, I think it was like a thousand families. And these were apparently um, happy, well-adjusted, uh, close, uh, closely knit families that were pretty successful, pretty uh, uh, happy families. And they were trying to find out in this study, and again, this is like 20 years ago, I think, what was the common ingredients? What were the common ingredients that many of those successful families had in common? Well, they found a handful of things, and if I'm not mistaken, this one thing was either in the, in the five or in the handful, or it may have been the number one thing that they kind of had in common. It was so, and it's surprising. Do you have any idea what you think it would be? Camping. Camping. That's right. Now, some people say that's terrific. That's a great, I understand why. That's a great thing. Other people may be thinking, heck, I don't like camping at all. What a pain in the neck. That's not the cup of tea for a lot of folks. But others love it. But what is it about camping? Why would that have been one of these common things that happy, well-adjusted, successful kinds of families had in common? Well, let's look at camping for just a second. As I recall, they talked about it a little bit too. And they talked about how in camping everything tends to go wrong. So, you know, there's the mosquitoes and the insects, there's the animals, the tent won't go up, and the, and the, and the rain's coming, and the water's getting in your tent, and the fire goes out. Everything can tend to go wrong sometimes when you're camping. Well, that's not that. That's not what makes them a successful, happy, well-adjusted, a closely knit family necessarily. It's the overcoming. It's the pulling together to overcome that adversity that makes them happy, successful, and closely knit. And by the way, I think they mentioned that at the time, it doesn't feel like you're happy, necessarily well-adjusted and successful. But when you look back in retrospect, when you look back at it, you know that those were the things, those were the things that brought you together. Well, what in the world does that have to do with cleaning? Well, of course, as you can imagine, maybe a lot. Because what are our cleaning companies a lot like? They're a lot like a family. Your team, your cleaning associates, and you are kind of a family. We certainly felt that way. And I can tell you, when Tony and I put together and put in place, let's say, a new automated timekeeping, or a new way to start up new accounts, or a new way we're going to start inspecting accounts, well, those nights that we started, that first night or that first week, there were lots of problems. So it wasn't fun. In fact, lots of things went wrong and we had to fix them and everyone's overworked and we're running around trying to figure it out. Well, in doing that though, we pulled together and became a stronger team in our company through the laughs and through the tears as we went through that. So that was a good thing. Well, why do I say this? Well, you know, all during the year and sometimes at the end of the year also, you start to make goals for the new year. And it might be easy to say, let's just have things run smoothly. And certainly, you want to have systems that things eventually run smoothly, but then you also also want to be looking at new things, new ideas that could help the company, but they're going to be difficult. And so the idea is you may, may, you may not have to dread them as much. You may, maybe shouldn't worry about them so much that you, you know, it's going to be a problem for your company. That adversity that comes with trying to put together a new program may be the kind of thing, maybe just what you needed to bring your team together to overcome it. And in doing that, your cleaning team will get stronger, be more successful, be more happy, be more close-knit because they overcame some difficult challenge, or let's say some challenge. So these are good things. Something to think about it. It's a new way of looking at it. I hope it helps you. Hope it helps your cleaning company. Have a great week, and until next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.